thank you for coming out today, Representative McMillan, and giving us your time. Uh, we appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, my name is Mike Oley, and I live in Rochester Hills. I'm concerned about the Planned Parenthood property that is uh, in Auburn Hills, right. just 10 minutes away from, right. from us here. Uh, I think there's a lot of different issues and battles uh, going on, people trying to stop that from happening. One thing that I want to ask you about is the $200,000 that went to Planned Parenthood uh, from the Michigan Department of Health. I think that went uh, in 2010, and that money was used toward the purchase price of the Auburn Hills property. And I believe there's plans, I understand there's plans for another $200,000 to go to Planned Parenthood again this year, and that's uh, taxpayer dollars. I want to know, uh, is there anything that I can do to work against this, to voice my opinion against this, to stop this? I think it's misuse of uh, taxpayer dollars. Right. Do you have any other um, people I should connect with or recommendations? Yeah, I've been working with uh, Right to Life, and I'm uh, particularly uh, concerned with the Planned Parenthood. I spoke at the, uh, my old stomping grounds, the Auburn Hills Council, uh, back a while back. and. Um, I, it took me a long time to actually get the uh, this department uh, to admit that that came from them, the 200000 So um, we just found that out for sure. I mean, we'd read reports about it, but as far as you know, them actually saying that they did just a couple weeks ago. And, um, so I'm working to, I know there's other legislators that are concerned about money going to that, that or any entity that's providing abortions. Um, and... I, the best way is to encourage and stay on and you know, hold me accountable. Um, we are approaching this issue strongly and um, trying to see if that 200000 was appropriate or not. And because uh, they say that it was, that they make distinctions between, you know, money that's not going to go for abortions. Um, and, but the money is not supposed to go for anything, you know, for a building that's going to have abortions in it. So, yeah, I mean, I'm right with you on, on that. And, um, like I said, we're kind of at the earlier stages of really um, verifying, <coughs> figuring out, you know, was this money just passed through money from the feds, or was it actually something that we had discretion over, um, and the appropriateness of it, and I'm working to try and stop that clinic from, uh, from opening up. Does it look like the... It sounds like uh, it's going to be a problem right now. Planned Parenthood needs additional funding to, to build up build up the building as they want to use it for. Does it sound like there's going to be additional money going to Planned Parenthood this year from the Department of Health? That's, you know what, I'll... Uh, there's Maureen. Yeah, can you make sure that we get back to him as far as how I can know one way or the other? Um, certainly would try to stop it if I, if I can. Okay. I'll find out if they have submitted, you know, money or a request for additional monies, or if we can get back the other 200000 What was your name? My name is Mike Oley. Okay. And it, are, is there any other, uh, I guess, besides working with the, the representatives in Congress, is there anyone else that you think would think that? <coughs> any, other, any other contacts that you've given me that I should just... <coughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm working with... Uh, the, the Department of Community Health uh, Subcommittee Chairman Matt Lorry. Uh, he's a former sheriff from the west side of the state. And so we've met with regard to this and other issues related to it. And um, so between Matt and myself, and I know Representative Hooker from the west side of the state has a particular interest in this. He, he tried to get something in this year's budget that we're voting on this week. Uh, it's a little complicated because talk about abortion providers, I understand that there's hospitals in some rural areas and others that provide, or that abortions take place there, and so would that mean no funding, you know, but it's not a complication that can't be worked through. So, yeah, pretty, pretty aggressive.